Welcome to Power Plus Mobility's educational session. session. Today we're going to be talking about the different types of front rigging on the chairs that we have and different types of styles and so forth. So the first one I'd like to start with is something that originated in this industry, which is called pin and saddle. Each one of Power Plus's chairs has a hanger, and this is what we call a hanger sleeve. This is mounted, easily moved, up and down on the chair. That allows us to grow for the total depth of the chair, and that's universal to all the mounts that I'm gonna show you here today. But specifically, these two pins here is a different style, and it's called a pin and saddle. A pin and saddle will have two different widths. The first width that it'll have, which is a standard size, is called a hemi. And that's one, inches in, one inch in between this gap here, as opposed to two inches. By having a difference in this gap allows for a stronger front rigging. So in, in a lot of cases, in a bariatric application, somebody who's more than 250 pounds, we're gonna put a spaced out pin and saddle on it, and that out allows for the ultimate strength of the front rigging so they don't snap it and break it. A lot of cases, People open doorways, move obstacles with their front rigging, and this is the first thing to snap on a chair. Uh, and that's that's where what we've realized over the years. So pin and saddle, definitely the strongest. The downfall to a pin and saddle is a level of difficulty in mounting and lining your front rigging with the two pins here and to mount it on here. I'll show you an example. So this is what we call a pin and, pin and saddle attachment. These two pins would line up with these two pins and then we would latch it shut. Now on this particular unit I don't have the pins installed here, um, but it's very difficult to find those two pins as an end user or even as somebody as myself to mount. So as the industry evolved, the industry moved to something called center pivot. And what center pivot is, is another type of a front rigging where there are no two pins, but there's an easily guided plastic piece that mounts on the front rigging here, and it latches just like that. We, I mentioned earlier that a lot of end users or a lot of people try to move things out of their way or try to open doorways with their front rigging. Well, this is a very inexpensive repair if they do decide to do that because this piece here will snap and once this piece snaps, we replace it. It's a quick fix for a technician and it's a very inexpensive fix and there's very little downtime for, for the end user. This is what we call center pivot. Most manufacturers have gone this route and this is probably 99% of the chairs that we sell on the market if they're not a bariatric uh, end user. Now, there are also three different types of hanger sleeves. The first one we mentioned was pin and saddle, which is a straight sleeve that mounts in and mounts out. And your second one is an offset hanger. So if you compare the two, this one and this one here, you'll see that this hanger sits vertical to the frame and this hanger is offset by one inch outside of the frame. The reason why we do an offset hanger versus a, a center hanger is to give the end user a little bit more room in between the chair here when they're foot propelling. Most commonly, people hand propel and foot propel as a combination or do one or the other, but the one thing that we don't want is for them to hurt themselves with any interference on the front rigging here and we'd like to give them a little bit more room. So to have an offset hanger such as this allows for greater room for bolt propulsion within the frame of the chair. Those are the three types of hangers that we do have. Now our most common type of footrest that we're, we currently use is what we call, again, a center pivot here. And the way this works is we have a latching mechanism here which engages this mechanism here which allows it to trigger, lock into place, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna turn that, that's gonna come up, 
and that's going to lock just like that. Now our front rigging is locked into place. Okay. The number of degrees makes a difference as well in the type of hangers that we have. So we have 60, 70s, and 90 degree hangers. So a 90 degree hanger would sit something like, not on that angle, but on this angle right here. And what that does is it shortens the footprint of the chair. Most commonly used for the pediatric population, but it limits you to the length of legs that you have because the adjustment in through here would hit the ground. So that's why we use 70 degree hangers or 60 degree hangers on the market. So my theory is if you use a 70 degree hang hanger, that's the general population. If there's an end user out there that has tall legs, we want it to be 60 degrees, which brings it out and it gives us more adjustability so it doesn't hit the ground and accommodates for somebody who has longer legs. And that's why we have those different types of degrees. We also have a type of front rigging that elevates. So somebody perhaps who has a broken leg and is in a cast for six weeks, perhaps renting a chair, they're not permanently going to be in a chair, we'd like to have elevating leg rests in there. And these are our elevating leg rests with a nice standard calf pad here, along with different size of front of uh, angle adjustable foot plates. So these foot plates here also angle, um, and they come in different sizes. One thing that Power Plus is really well known for is when we do have a chair that comes into our system, um, our dealer network doesn't have to specify whether they want small, large foot plates. We always make sure we put foot plates with the least amount of gap, gap in through here, and that's a standard production quality uh, assurance that we do when it leaves our building. So each chair, we'd like to cover as much surface space as possible. Our elevating leg rest has a standard calf pad on it, um, but that's not limited to customization. So now in our order forms, we have an option to customize the width of the calf pad or the height of the calf pad. The reason why I say that is if you do have a chair that's extra wide, say 22, 24, whatever the case may be, there would be a larger gap in through here, um, and it really serves no purpose of support for your calf. So that's where we custom fabricate in the back, a custom calf pad to accommodate for those clients with a wider chair and to cover as much calf surface area as possible. So again, another part of customization that we do as well. We also have a, another type of front rigging, which is called a elevating articulating front rigging. So elevating articulating allows kind of hard to do this without being on a chair. So you'll notice how as I elevate this front rigging, it extends outward with your leg. So somebody who's not in a fixed position um, and has the flexibility within their knee, and when we elevate that their leg, it'll elevate with it without bringing their knee right into their chest. So this is a very popular device as well, fully functional. Another option that we have for front rigging is a footboard option. Uh, so although this is a tilt chair, um, this, this type of a setup would work very well on a folding chair. And the reason why is we can take our footboard, which is hinged onto our foot plate here, take this, and we can fold the entire chair. So this, this setup works well with a folding chair. Also works well on a tilt chair because when you're putting this down to two, you're strengthening your front end of the chair and almost rigidizing it, um, giving it that full support. So your board is angle adjustable with the foot plates, depth adjustable, uh, and also height adjustable with all these mounts in through here, through our front rigging. One other option, and my last option, is to have mount a padded foot board this comes in two options. We can either do a padded footboard or a solid composite um, footboard with padding within. And that mounts in through here and it keeps your feet nice and snug and keeps your feet within the box. Thank you very much.